man in West Erie County who grew up loving the stories of Robin Hood and King Arthur. That love did not end as he got older. In fact, it increased. Yeah, John Last tonight takes us back to the days of Sherwood Forest and Excalibur for this edition of The Last Word. While on our honeymoon in Florida, my wife and I went to a place called Medieval Times. We had dinner while being entertained by knights on horseback. It was a wonderful night. Stan Mayer of Lake City doesn't need to travel to Florida to get that knights on horseback experience. He doesn't even have to leave his house. Just about every room in Dan's home contains something medieval. He has swords. He has shields, he has helmets, he has faces of Robin Hood characters on a wall. There's pictures and tapestries of stately European castles. He has cabinets filled with figurines, mostly of knights on their horses carrying their swords or daggers. Dan first became fascinated with stuff like this in 1960 when he was about 10 years old. He was living in Germany at an Air Force base where his father was stationed. He would play Robin Hood in the woods with his best friend, Bill. He was Little John and I was Robin Hood and we had a bunch of other kids that would go with us. Dan's interest changed to Pontiac GTOs and drag racing after he settled in Lake City as a teenager. However, in 1993, Dan decided to find his old friend Bill. Right their reunion came 30 years after their days in Germany. Memories of those days in the woods playing Robin Hood were rekindled. It inspired Dan to begin his wonderful medieval collection. Dan even has a custom-made suit of armor he can wear. Well, I see him on TV and you see him in museums and all that, and I thought it'd be kind of nice to have an authentic suit, even though it's modern made. It's made of the proper thickness metal. You would have had to be a great archer if you wanted to serve as one of Robin Hood's merry men. So Dan hosts a tournament for family and friends to test their archery skills. It's called the Sherwood Classic. Trophies are presented to the winners. I would make my speech. Uh, welcoming everybody and what have you, and then we would uh, feast, and we would have everything there. Everybody would bring, bring something. Then after the feast, we would start the contest. Enjoying his giant medieval collection and the archery tournaments are not enough for Dan. He also wrote a book called Sean of Sherwood. It's about a young archer who fights to save his friendly village from an evil mercenary army with the help of Robin Hood. Dan knows the subject. Writing the book was easy. With the last word in Lake City, John Last, Erie News Now. Playing the part. <laughs> and Dan's book, Sean of Sherwood, can be purchased online at sites such as Amazon and Barnes and Noble, but Dan is currently working on a sequel. He knew John could not resist putting that outfit on. He and his wife were both retired from the FBI in Washington, D.C. We'll be right back.